Hey, this is Scooby Dooby Doo from YouTube, and I'm going to show you what I like to how I make my reflections in Photoshop. And this is my version, and this method will work on all objects in Photoshop, such as I don't know what you call this, I guess, custom object tool, custom shape tool. It'll work with any custom shapes, any brushes, any objects that you have in Photoshop, really. So, I'm going to take my custom t um, shape tool. And I'm going to find a random shape to use. We will go with this piece right here. And I'm just going to drag this down, create a decent sized person. And I'm going to right click on it. Actually, nope. Yes, I want to right click on this and choose Rasterize Layer. And now we have our little man type thing. And to du duplicate this layer, just click on the layer, drag it down to your new layers icon, and you've duplicated the layer. Now we can choose our move tool and choose edit, transform, flip vertical. We flipped it vertical and hold down shift and move it down. And if you hold down shift, you'll see it moves it about 10 pixels. If you let go of shift, you'll move it about one pixel. So we've gone ahead and I've placed it about where I want it. We had a little space between there. And what I'm going to do is on the second layer, the reflection layer, I'm going to choose the mask tool. And with the mask tool selected, you'll be able to, let's just say what the mask does. The mask will make anything black in this little, on this canvas layer, invisible. So if I take my brush tool, if I can find it, I'll just press the shortcut and switch over to black, you can see it just erased it. Now if I switch back over to white, white color is in, black white um, erases out of there. So with that we can take our gradient tool, switch over to a black on white gradient. Better yet, I bet if we took this and we lower the opacity of it fairly low, we'll get a pretty decent fade on it, right? No. Okay, I'm just going to stick with the regular white on black because I know that works and just click and drag and if you want a really good fade on it click really high up and drag to about where you want the fade to end okay but if you want just a quick fade make the line fairly short you can see the longer I drag out the fade the more of a fade we get the shorter I make it the shorter the fade so make however you want and now you know how to make a quick reflection it will work with any object. And if you want, you can go ahead and group these layers together. So you can grab it quickly. We'll just say man reflection. So we're just man ref. And we'll select these two layers, press V, or our move tool, and we can move it anywhere we want on the canvas. And when we're done with it, lock it up. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you found it helpful. So goodbye.